Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In the last video, we saw how we can create a summarization application with Langchain and OpenAI using different techniques. On today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a summarization application using a custom prompt and MapReduce chain. So without any further delay, let us get started. Let us have a quick reminder of what is Stub Document Chain. Stub Document Chain is a pre-made chain provided by Langchain that is configured for summarization. The benefit of using Stub Document Chain is that we don't have to configure the prompt for the large language model. It provides an out-of-the-box solution for summarization application. The pros of using Stub Document Chain is that it makes a single call to the large language model. And when generating the response or the summary, the large language model will have full access to all the data at once. On the other hand, the cons are that most large language models have uh, the context length or daily token limit for free. And for large document, this will not work, since it will result in a prompt that is larger than the context length, which means that we have to pay to get more token. In order to avoid this, we are going to use MapReduce chain. So next, we are going to review again what is the MapReduce chain. MapReduce chain is a technique that is used to process large document. The large document that we want to summarize will be divided into multiple chunks. Each chunk will be summarized using an initial prompt. And the summaries of these chunks are summarized again using a final prompt. These two prompts are static and they have a default value and can be customized. The first prompt that, the, that summarizes each chunk is called the map prompt. And the second prompt that summarizes the summaries of the first prompt is called the reduce prompt. Next, let us start building our summarization application by customizing these two prompts. All right, guys, before we start, I would highly recommend for you to watch my previous tutorial about building summarization application with Langchain and OpenAI. In that tutorial, I explain in detail each technique and specifically the map reduce chain which I'm going to use here. And also, as always, you will find the link to this uh, notebook uh, in the description of this tutorial. So let us now start uh, building a summarization application using uh, custom prompt and map reduce. So let us have a quick recap of what we did in my last tutorial. At the beginning, we import the Langchain and the OpenAI libraries. Then we loaded the environment variable. And after that, we built the summarization application using MapReduce chain. First, we import the prompt template from Langchain. Then we import chat OpenAI, our large language model. And after that, we import the load summarized chain in order to create our chain. And finally, we imported the recursive character text splitter in order to split our large document into multiple chunks. Here we created our large language model object and we loaded our large, uh, our large document. After that, we calculated uh, the total number of token and we defined our recursive text splitter and the chunk size was 5000 character and the chunk overlap was 50 character. Again, all these uh, code, line of code, are explained in my previous tutorial. I'm just going quickly through them so that we start building our summarization application with custom prompt. After that, we created our chain and uh, using uh, the LL object that we created here, and the chain type was MapReduce. 
And this is the summary. And the two default uh, prompt templates are here. And uh, if you want to know like what are the default prompt template, you just run these two line of code. This one is a map prompt and this one is a reduce prompt. Now in this application here, we are going to write our own custom prompt to replace the default prompt, to replace this one and this one. So let us start now writing our custom prompt. So we will have map underscore custom underscore prompt equal summarize the following text in a clear and concise way. Alright, so we are instructing the large language model to summarize our uh, text into, in a clear and concise way and to have first a brief summary. Now we will define the map prompt template object. So we'll have map score prompt score template equal to prompt template. have the input the score variables is equal to text and the template is equal to map underscore custom underscore prompt here there is a spelling mistake as okay the input variable specifies the names of the input variables that will be used in the prompt template. In our case, it is the text variable we specify above. Now, this prompt template object can be used to generate text, and we are going to replace the map prompt template, the default one here. Now, we are going to define our second prompt template. As we said before, the second prompt template will summarize the summaries of the first prompt. And in order to save time, I have already prepared a custom prompt, which I'm going to paste here. The prompt consists of four parts. A title that accurately reflects the content of the text, an introduction paragraph that provide an overview of the topic, bullet points that list the key points of the text, and a conclusion paragraph that summarizes the main points of the text. The text placeholder in the prompt is used to indicate where the text that will be summarized should be inserted. This custom prompt can be used to generate a summary of text by using the prompt template objects. So let us now create our uh, prompt template object. So we are going to create our uh, prompt template object, combine underscore prompt underscore template and we are going to use prompt template we'll have input underscore variables is equal to text as before and for the template is going to equal to combine underscore custom underscore prompt by this, we have uh, created two custom prompts. The first one will replace the map prompts of the, ma uh, of the map reduced chain, the default one, and the second prompt is going to replace the second prompt of the map reduced chain. Now, let us create our chain. We will call our chain summary underscore chain. And we will use the load underscore summarize underscore chain to create it. The load summarize chain takes the following argument. The large language model 
object which we created above this LLM the chain underscore type which is equal to map underscore reduce the map underscore prompt which is equal to map underscore custom underscore template and the combine underscore prompt which is equal to combine underscore prompt underscore template and for verbose I'm going to set the flag to false I don't want to see the log and that's it by this we have created our chain using map reduce and custom prompt the map custom uh, template which is this one to replace the default one and also the combined prompt template now let us run our chain and see the summary first let us run our code here just to make sure it is working well it's working fine it's working fine map underscore custom prompt I'm getting an error uh, yeah this name is different it's working fine now in order to print uh, the summary we will have summary is equal to summary underscore chain dot run and here I'm gonna pass the chunks that we created in the previous example so if we go up here and when we created the summarization application using map reduce and the default function here we created the chunks which is equal to text splitter to create document from text so this chunk represents the large document that we are using for this example okay so let me run the code now it's going to take a little bit of time it's done now let us print the summary so i'll say print summary and as we can see here we have a title it's called understanding convolution neural network for image recognition this is the introduction these are the key points and conclusion and the conclusion and if we compare the summary with the default summary that we got from uh, the map reduce we see a total difference so it's always a good idea to customize the prompt and use map reduce all right let us see another use case of using the custom prompt and map reduce so we will uh, create another two custom prompt but first let me just change this to we'll say another use case all right so i have already prepared the custom prompt so suppose in this scenario uh, we want to extract the important keywords from uh, from a very large document and we want to uh, calculate the total number of appearance of each uh, keyword and the total number of important keywords so <coughs> sorry i have already prepared this custom prompt so i have the following i'm gonna paste here I have the first uh, prompt which is called map custom prompt extract the important keyword for each chunk so we are going to extract the important keyword from each uh, chunks and list it and I created here the prompt template object and also the same for the combined prompt I have already prepared the following I want to count so first we are extracting the important keyword and the second we are counting the number of time each important keyword appear in the document and find the total number of keywords and I have defined also, defined also here the prompt template objects as well as before so next we will create our chain so we will have here the following our chain using the large language model object the map reduce chain and we uh, initialize our prompt uh, map prompt and combined prompt again if you want to run the sorry if you want to run our chain so let us first run the following 
it's working this one and now let us run uh, the chain and print the summary again it's going to take a little bit of time and it is done as we can see here uh, the important keyword and the respective counts are as follows uh, from each chunks it extracts for example is a convolution neural network the total number of appearance was four images was four and at the end here we'll see that we have 87 keywords so this is how you create a summarization application using a custom prompt and map reduce and this is just two case scenarios where we create our own custom prompts for our needs using the same document I will advise you to run the code in uh, this notebook and then create your own custom prompt and try to use different documents. I'm going to create a separate video to talk about the prompt engineering and what are the best practices to create custom prompt in the future. So stay tuned. Alright guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you gain new information about how to build summarization application using custom prompt and MapReduce. If you have any question, please feel free to leave a comment down below this video. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. See you in the next tutorial.